Hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to my Feed the Beast Ultimate Let's Play. So today, I'm getting ready to get back to our little Steve's Cart project. And the first thing I need to do here is take down my current little rubber tree forest. Because this is what we're going to be automating. We want to uh, get all of this done without having to do it ourselves, right? Right. So, at the moment I'm just knocking the saplings off. I do have some of this type of rubber tree sapling in storage, but as we're going to want to get some into an inventory on a cart, I thought we might as well cut them all off before we knock the trees down. I find that you do get a higher percentage of saplings out of serm, some trees. Serm? Serm trees! Out of some trees using a sickle as opposed to letting them simply deteriorate on the tree. Of course, getting a little close to my great wood tree under here. Holy. Wow, I know these things would grow this bloody big. Okay, how's that? I think that that's to the end of our rubber trees. Yes, it is. Lovely. So, yeah, I've been. Uh, Doing a couple things since last we met. In fact, after I logged off the Let's Play yesterday, I continued for about, ooh, I don't know, a good four hours. And uh, mainly what I was doing was uh, packing the gravel and dirt, um, cobblestone, marble, you know, the sort of more or less waste items from the quarry. Um, which is still pumping away like a mad bugger, let me tell you. Um, and recycling them. I uh, have whew, filled two barrels, and I'm working on my third now. So we've got at least, uh, I don't know, probably 150 stacks of uh, scrap now. And that tells me that when this little Steve's cart project is done that what we perhaps need to do is move on to getting ourselves a mass fabricator built. Start turning that scrap into UU. And then we can upgrade our armor and do a few other things. Now, the thing with the quarry is, and thank goodness, it doesn't only fill up with junk. Of course, it's also got a lot of good stuff. The good stuff I don't intend on hand bombing all the way from the quarry to the house like I did with all the others. So the other thing we gotta do, and probably get to that today, is I'm going to have to uh, That should work out about perfectly. Yeah, I like that. I do, I do. So, yeah, uh, I want to build a couple of teleport modules to get the rest of our stuff from point A to point B. So that should have got us a fair bit of this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, it did indeed. Some of which I actually can't use out here, so I think I'll take them inside. Do 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 do. Da, 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 da. Where are we here? Let's turn our little foinus on. And I find this is the easiest way to do this. Boom boom. All right. Now when that comes up to temperature, we'll be doing good. Extractor. For that, might as well put the full side in. There we go. Won't make rubber. Now, back down to Steve's carts. Do to loot. Run, boogie, run. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Alright. Onwards and upwards. So what we want, as you can see, I've got the module part loaded. 
First thing I want, I think, is a little coal engine. So to do that, we need to build a furnace. So let's start by building a furnace. What do we got here? Stone. Stone. Well, we certainly got enough stone, but cobblestone is what we need. And, of course, we all know how to build your basic furnace. This is, after all, vanilla Minecraft stuff. Okay, so there's a basic furnace. We need to build a couple of pistons. That's not very hard. Oops. Don't need that, I need wood. <laughs> Some plankage will do. There we go. What else do we need? Pistons, pistons. Uh, and what iron? There we go. A couple of pistons. What else does our little coal engine require? Coal engine. Uh, that's it. We just need some iron. So, and pistons, furnace, iron. Uh, no idea. <laughs> Oh god, if my memory was any worse, I wouldn't be able to get up in the daytime, I tell you. Because I forget why I woke up in the morning. There we go, one coal engine. Nice. That, and our standard hull. I also want a solar engine. So, for that, we require a couple more pistons, advanced PCB, and some of these solar panels. So let's get our pistons. Hoist them all, bub it up, and bub it up, a couple of pistons, one, two, and then the solar panels, I guess, yeah, okay, the advanced PCB we have, solar panels are glowstone, iron, and redstone, so, I believe I brought a stack of glowstone, so, uh, -ba -ba -ba. okay, let's get these built, and I need four of these, so, okay, uh, I think actually, Let's build a couple more of these to have them, because they are used for pretty much every single cart. Well, they certainly are if you plan to have solar engines on them. And I think most of the carts we're going to build will certainly have that. Okay. And we also require for our solar engine an advanced PCB, which we have. So, let's assemble, shall we? Uh, iron, 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 iron. Da, 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 da. There we go. Whoa, what the heck is that? That's not what I was trying to make. What the hell? That just doesn't look right for some reason. What? What the hell is going on here? This thing's just acting really strange, man. Really strange. I don't know what the hell that's all about. I don't, but there's our solar engine. That was just weird, man. Any eyes sometimes are just goofy. Next thing we need are chests, and chests are made of these things, chest panes. So, what do we got? Okay, so you need an eye shape of planks and then some wood in the central. So, need some real wood. And there we go. So if we make this, 
and then this, right? Right. Uh, let's make at least a couple of stacks of these, because we're going to use a lot of them. There we go. Okay. So, for the side chest, the other thing we need is this little guy. Stone and iron to make locks. So, if I look in here, let's grab some stone. And some iron. That didn't work. Why not? Why, Billy? Really? It's got to be up in the top corner or it doesn't work. It's still not working. Why not? Oh, that's chiseled stone bricks. Where the hell did I end up with chiseled stone bricks? Stone. Stone. The only one I could have picked, apparently. <laughs> I thought it was kind of odd that such a simple pattern. There we go. Look at that, eh? Alright, now... Side chests. Well, I guess we gotta build these other things first. So, if you make four of these... You get that size. Let's make some of those. And then if we get up to here, we make that size. Okay. So, let's see. I think we can actually build this. There we go. So it's a lock in the center. One. Ooh. One. Two. Small ones. Three, four. And then four of the big ones. Ta-da! And we get side chests. Nice. Very, very nice. Cool. And these, and these, and these are all leftover biddies. So what else do we need? Well, the other thing that I want to build for this particular cart is a fertilizer. I mean, why not, right? Fireworks display... Where's fertilizer extracting chests? I haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, railer, large railers. Hmm. Ah, that looks like a fertilizer. There we go. Oh, bone meal and glass bottles. I don't think I brought bone meal and glass bottles, but I do have glass. So, boop, boop, boop. Let's get ourselves some glass bottles. Bone meal. Alright. I knew there was something I forgot. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're almost ready to assemble our first cart. Yes, yes, yes. Bone meal, eh? I think I have some down here. Sure. Let's get some bones. Let's get some bone meal. Nice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Loot. Down to the rail crafting room. Plunk, plunk. Okay. So. Where the heck was I? The fertilizing machine. In. There it is. Okay. So. Simple enough. Oops, I didn't grab my leather. There we go. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? A fertilizer, a couple of bone meals in the top, one of those basic little PCBs, some leather, and last but not least, a couple of glass bottles. Gives us, oops, a fertilizer. I believe that's all the modules we need for this cart. Lovely. Ha ha ha. All right. Six modules. Let's see how this goes. First thing we want to do in Steve's cart is put your cart in. Now I left everything in the crafting table. What a weirdo. 
that, 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 and that. There we go. Modules. Alright. So first thing you do is put your cart hall in. Gotta do that. So throw in a cart hall and you'll notice this all changes. Okay. It shows you the number of attachments, tools, engines, etc. that this cart hall will allow. Alright. Here's your capacity. You can kind of think of that as a weight. And each item you add has a certain weight. Like this one. 34. Well, if you consider that the weight and you add it to this one at 20, so those two will take up 54 of that 200. The complexity cap is simply enough. Now, nothing in here do we have to worry about. None of them have a complexity uh, cap that high. See, 20, 34, that's probably our most expensive. 3, 10, 15. None of those can individually get above 50. That's all that is. So, anyway, let's assemble this. We want a coal engine. And we want a solar-powered engine. So there's our engines. Now it tells us the time, 4 minutes, 43 seconds, total cost, complexity cap, etc. The tool we're using is a woodcutter. There we go. Uh, attachments, well, fertilizer. Nice. And storage, we're going to use chests. Add-ons, no. Not at this time. And that is our basically tree cart. 15 minutes and 11 seconds to assemble. So let's click Assemble. There we go. Now if we come back in, well, uh, 15 minutes exactly, <laughs> we should have a cart. There you go. And that is how you get started in Steve's carts. Okay. So let's get all our chest bits. Throw those in here. Okay. Oh, I don't want to put the rubber wood there. Stone, sure, that can go back in. Leather, glowstone, glass bottles, uh, bones, I think I'm going to actually want. Same with this. Okay, the other thing, now I have lots of track from mines. If we didn't, I'd show you how to put it together. Now there is, however, a certain piece of track I want. So, we go to track now. Because I actually require an advanced detector rail. One way boarding tracks detector well let's see if we can find it this way advance here we go advanced detector rail we need iron pressure plates and some redstone so uh, do you Pressure plate. Pressure plate. Ah, build a couple of these. Shall we? There we go. Okay. Now, this guy. So, simple enough, huh? Boom, 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 boom. And iron. Lovely. Okay, and with that, we're now ready to throw the track down, so... What have I got here? Two, so I want track here. And yeah, we're going to build a fairly big one. Yeah, it's probably good. Do, do, do. 
I'm glad these were all free out of the mines. I am, I am. And like so. Hmm. I think actually. I want to go one shy here. One short. There we go. And one from that side. Perfect. There we go. That's where I want to be. Nice. And right here, I'm going to pop that out and put one of these guys in. There we go. So, of course, we don't have a cart to put on there. So, it's about as far as we're going to get for the moment. And that'll leave us enough room inside and out. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, whoa. <laughs> See, he goes wandering off into the middle of the water. All right. So let's put the rest of our track back here. We have our fancy detector track. Uh, what else? That can go in here. Uh, those I'll keep on me. The bone and the bone meal I'll actually need once our cart is assembled, which is still another 10 minutes away. So let's quickly go and check on what's happening. Yeah, as you can see, I tried to use up some cobblestone because <laughs> I was getting so much of it out of that freaking quarry. Um, that oil thing there will eventually cap it and suck out whatever oil's in there. I don't expect it to be a huge amount. Ah, all right, the quarry has stopped. Whoa, probably a good thing. Seeing as apparently we're full right up. Wow. Okay, that's not good. Never had that happen. And this is full. Oh, I see it started uh, putting this over to here because it couldn't go anywhere else. Okay, well, we got to straighten that out. Like I said, that's pretty much what I spent the entire afternoon yesterday doing. I was chasing that damn quarry around. The 64 by 64 quarry. It's a pretty productive animal, let me tell you, folks. Pretty productive indeed. So now, simple. Fill the tops. And this is what I did pretty much all day yesterday. <laughs> Was come by here and do this. over and over and over and of course pull the scrap out lovely scrap and last but not least here we go and as you can see it's paying off <laughs> so now let's go back down there one more time pick up some more of that this is why I want to get the uh, item tesseract built. Because this was starting to get just a little redundant yesterday, let me tell you. And we're full again. Let's roar back here, dump another load off. Carrying so much stone, I couldn't jump the ledge. <laughs> I wish. All right. I think this one we're just gonna pop into there. Dirt. Boom boom. Uh, marble. Gravel. Uh, uh, gravel. Uh, marble, because I ended up getting so much of it. I actually did get a spot for it. There we go. So. Still working on the biofuel. Really neat thing. Um, in fact, let's quickly check that. Seeing as the quarry stopped, it's not under any panic. And we do have to wait for that Steve Cards thing. So. Yeah, currently running. So, you'll see our boiler. 
is now at max temperature, 1000 C. When you reach there, man, it uses next to nothing for fuel now. You know, I put one of these stacks in, and it lasts for hours and hours and hours. I can fill all four mining cells, I can fill my uh, or assembly table cells up and whatever I'm using at the time and everything without even flinching. It's great. And so we need to replace those. Boom, 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 boom. Take these to the quarry. Do, 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 do. But we're not going to hook them up right away. I'm currently in peaceful mode. Whenever I'm putting buildings and stuff together, I go to peaceful mode so they don't blow up my work before I can prepare for it. Okay. Set these down here. And they don't take up too much space. Empty some more of this out. Wow. That's just crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So. Maybe while we're up here, we'll get the process started to get us on our way to uh, some item tesseracts. So we don't have to do this. Yeah, I'm afraid it uh, doesn't take long at all to fill those back up again. Not in the slightest. There we go. Throw that in there. Let's throw that in there. We'll need those when the cart's ready, but not until then, so... Rubber tree, rubber tree, rubber tree. These I need. Okay, let's throw our cells up here. Boom, boom, boom. And last one. And are they set as innies? They are. So they should be receiving power. They are. Good. Good, good, good. How's this doing? Empty. Wow. Alright. Well, we'll use the next load to fill that, shall we? Because I think our cart assembler is probably still crunching the numbers. Our 15 minutes won't be up yet. Chuggity, 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 chuggity. So I think, what I have been doing, the only thing I've really been pulling out of this chest is bees, because we don't really need them in there, and as each bee takes up a complete slot, they tend to fill space pretty quick. There's four empties. The other thing I've been pulling is coal. Um, although full stacks aren't exactly super, super plentiful. Oh, we still got a couple of empty spaces here. <laughs> Not freaking much, though. I think that's it for coal stacks, isn't it? More stacks of flint than I can shake a stick at. What the hell's this? Oh, sandstone. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's take a little bit more of this. Okay. <laughs> so I've almost run out of saplings. Um, like the oak saplings that I was using to make biofuel. 
Yeah, I used the bunch of stacks of it that I had. I've already gone through because the entire time that I was doing uh, the cleanup on my mining operation yesterday, I was also um, manually cycling through. Look at that, eh? I was also manually cycling through that other system there with the biomass, so I went through a lot, <laughs> a lot of tins, <laughs> and uh, oh, coal. Surprised a little, you know. When I go mining, it seems I just run across so damn much of it, and yet on a 64 by 64 quarry. I've only pulled about 10 stacks out. And that sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Not if you consider. So I'm packing way too much crap here. I don't want to be packing the bone meal and crud like that around. So. Um, don't need that at the moment. Don't need that at the moment. But I did need to stop at this other building and drop off these damn bees. And you'll see how many I've actually taken in. It's pretty crazy. Look at this. <laughs> well, there you go. That answers that. So, 15 hives have knocked over at least. Actually, we can count from these guys. That's 15. 17. So far, we found 17 hives down there. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Uh, let's just see how much longer Steve's carts is going to take. Then I'm going to uh, oh, look, look, look! It's done. Modular cart, standard hull, coal engine, solar engine, wood cutter, fertilizer, and side chests. Ta-da! We have our cart. So now I would like this, please. And. All of those dang rubber tree saplings. The detector track, I'm going to build a manager, of course. But, uh, probably not this episode. I think I'm going to close up pretty quick here. In fact, so... In fact, let's uh, creep out here. Quick jog down here. Have a snoozle. New version of any eye. New applied energistics. Just a ton of stuff. And something called E3 has actually been disabled until they do. So. Let's disable the solar power for the moment. And disable that. So it doesn't take off. So it's in... Oh, it's not in sunlight, because it's under that thing. <laughs> Let's uh, grab some coal. Surely I do have some, don't I? Oh, yeah. Coal. Anything else I need? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh. So we can put that there. We can put this here. Okay, it's got its fuel. Out of power. Alright, woodcutter. We put saplings into the section marked woodcutter. Oh no. It doesn't want to take this type of sapling. That isn't very good. At all. Fertilizer, it'll obviously take all of that. But it will not take rubber tree saplings. Well, that totally sucks. Totally, totally sucks. Hmm. I may have to do the other part of the farm automated instead. The other rubber tree one. Damn. Because if it won't do rubber trees, in all honesty, I'm not that interested. Great wood saplings. 
rubber tree saplings I only have 13 of them eh wow hmm oh well it'll have to do for a start I guess or am I gonna have to actually grow some and go from there hmm that would suck that would suck will it take rubber tree sapling oh come on Will this thing only grow generic frickin' saplings? It's almost useless to me. Wow, what a waste. What a freaking waste. Huh. Well, that's crap. The hell they don't make the mods so it actually works with the other mods. Well, that was quite a waste of time. I'm really disappointed, man. I mean, who gives a damn about generic stuff? You'd hardly use it except for the saplings, and it's going to use all the bloody saplings replanting itself. Oh well, you watch. Freaking oak saplings will work, even though I don't bloody want them. Well, what a nice waste. I just destroyed my entire rubber farm for nothing. Hmm, beautiful. Oh well, we can get this going. At least you'll see how these things work. Yeah, of course you'll take saplings, you prick. Alright. Now I'm going to set this one to high, this one to medium. guess that we don't actually want to put that detector rail down until we have the manager because it seems that it just stops the train dead so let's let it do its little cycle there we go now it's raising those nice wow is that ever hard to break crazy man so now, you know, it's definitely doing what it's supposed to do anyway, so I guess we'll let it run and call it a, well, less than desirable outcome, but hey, could have been worse. All right, back over to our lovely quarry. That is so disappointing. I had a freaking rubber trees, now I gotta put them somewhere else. Maybe I'll do that here, actually. Plant a bunch of rubber tree saplings. Sure. That's what we'll do with them. Hmm. Very disappointed, I must say. Very, very, very disappointed. Why they would have it so it only does generic forestry trees. I don't know. Maybe there's a special attachment for non-forestry, but I have my doubts. I really do. You know? Um. But, hey. If it will produce more saplings than it uses, then it's actually of use to me. Because then I can use the saplings for biofuel. Because they are so much nicer than reeds far as production levels go anyway. Yeah. We'll turn this whole area into rubber samplings. But. So next episode we are going to build uh, item tesseracts and we are going to um, do a little more on that little project we just started but I think the priority will be item tesseracts and probably a mass fab um, we're gonna need the mass fabricator because our stacks of um, scrap are starting to build up pretty good so what else we got here? Well, if 
But I think that's probably about all I can do this episode as far as nifty cool things. I wanted to get our Steve's cart done, which we did. I'm really disappointed it's not going to do exactly what I wanted it to do, but hey. What can you say? Maybe next episode we'll build a, a pump and start pumping that oil out too, just to get it out of my face. So, But I think until then, folks, this has been Species 7. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We will uh, get this up today, maybe even a second one today, depending how it goes. But until then, enjoy your day, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Ciao for now.